So now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take care, we're gonna cover these boards. Um, what you need to do first is with, um, let me see, this is 150 grit sandpaper. And I've gone on all these boards and sanded my, 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 the corners, the edges, the sides, all the way around all of them and taken off all the little splinters that tend to come along with um, plywood. So I've taken all those off and that's really important because you really don't wanna have, be working away and get a splinter. We know you don't want that. Then I'm gonna gesso these and I'm using this gesso because I have a huge thing of it. I don't particularly care for it because it's pretty thin. And um, I'd like it to be a little bit thicker, a little bit more opaque, but, but this will work fine. It's gonna seal the wood. That's what I want it to do so that my paints, my good paints when I put them on, don't just soak into the surface um, because the wood is pretty porous. And I'm just getting a good coat on there. And that's what one coat looks like. Now, if I was doing an oil painting, if I was doing something that needed to be much finer, I would let this dry, come back, sand it, put another coat. Let it dry, sand it, put another coat. And I would keep building up my gesso until all of the texture from the board was gone and I had a nice, smooth surface. And that's one coat. And here's a board I did a little bit earlier, and it dries pretty clear. Um, so I'm going to put another coat on here just for the heck of it. And usually I don't worry about this too much because I'm going to be layering papers over top of this. I just want to make sure that I'm sealing the wood. And that's another good thing. Depending on the wood you're using, um, if you don't do a primer or a sealer on it or gesso, you run the chance of the tannins from the wood eventually coming through your painting uh, so and staining and discoloring your painting. So there you go. There is the second coat. And I think that's probably as good as it's going to get. You also might want to hit your sides while you've got your paintbrush out. And just, you know, smooth that out a little bit. And there you go. That was pretty easy. Sometimes I will, let me grab another board. Here's another one I put one coat on. Sometimes I'll, I'm switching to a, a Liquitex gesso. Still pretty thin. But I'm going to put that on. And let me try something a little crazy. I'm going to add a little color there. And kind of mix it into my gesso and then I've automatically got a colored background to work on a little bit of movement happening there and there you go two coats and one of them is colored and I have a colored background so that's a good start for both of those.